the Dumas brothel in Butte, Montana. The Western United States is the longest running house of prostitution. Stayed open for 92 years. Do you, you see this Pumas block here? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember that picture up there uh, when I showed you Galena Street? Yep. Where all the auto de shops were. You could take your car in the 20s, 30s, 40s and go get it serviced. And you could come over here, be in the tunnels, you pop in right here. And where are they going to send you? They're going to send you to the speakeasy. This picture's from the 30s. Okay. Yeah? This is the Dumas right here. Okay. This is Mercury Street. You're parked right out in front. Yeah. This is Galena Street. This is Park Street. Now, on Galena Street, that red light district was here, I would say, about 1870, uh, about 1880, until okay. 1890. And then it comes to Mercury Street. And this is Venus Alley. I'm going to take you out there. Sweet. Now, you see all the cars here right now? Yeah. That In the 20s, 30s, 40s, that's where the uh, auto dealerships were. Oh. Okay. Now, you see this U-shaped building? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. These are cribs. Oh, wow. Two stories high. There was a walkthrough. Cribs on the inside. Uh, this was run by a madam named Jean Sorensen. They called her Dirty Mouth Jean. <laughs> she was a tough cookie. You see this smaller building right here? Yeah. Here's the Dumas. This was the Windsor. The Windsor? Charlie Chaplin said the most beautiful girls in the world work there. Those girls were out of Chicago, so the mobs involved. Oh, okay. This was the Victoria. It was two levels. Yeah. Okay, not three. What year you said? Around the 30s? These, these, this picture's from the 30s. Okay. But both of these would burn in the 60s. Oh, shit. And maybe we'd lose them. Yeah. talk, am I right? <laughs> That's so cool, hey, the window, so you're just like, yeah, okay, then. <laughs> it's like Amsterdam or something. This is one of the fridges that was in the kitchen. There are two fridges. Oh, yeah. This one's a little different, though. This one has locks on it and air holes. You have to understand, it's illegal for foreign girls to be working in the Okay. Okay. So, there was a raid, I guarantee you the madams were tipped off. And this was known as Sandra's fridge. Sandra was a working girl here. She would crawl into this fridge in the kitchen and they just lock herself in. What? She was never caught. She never got deported to Italy. She actually was a working girl here. Italian, She was a working girl here until she was 63. What? I know, it's hard to believe. Uh, that's not job security. I don't know what it is. definitely a vibe of this place that's just hard to describe. It would have been awesome to see it in its heyday with dudes walking around with pocket watches going, you see? And stuff like that. But, well, I guess that'd be one period of it, but yeah. This place has seen a bunch of generations. It only closed down in 1982 after they were caught giving $5 specials to the local high school boys, allegedly. There's also been a number of suspicious deaths in here. Also straight up murders too. Things were just different back then. The town realized that they needed this place to keep the miners here so that they can keep the whole town alive. But this place made more money than any of the mining companies or anything. Oldest profession in the world. Yeah, the authorities would do the occasional raid to look proper, but they were on the take too. Everybody was greased. Property recently changed hands in the past year or so, I think. And uh, yeah, they're planning on kind of revamping it a little bit and doing tours and stuff. So if you're interested in that, look it up. It's in Butte, Montana.
upstairs is where the big money was made, but downstairs in the basement is where it gets real vibey. It's a trip down here, man. Entering this place is like entering a time capsule. No matter what your feelings on prostitution are or whatever, this is an important part of history for this town. Subscribe, motherfucker!